Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullah So I've got the neighbours banging I don't know what they're banging on about But um, that's the least of my worries So if I bring you over here I've had a bit of a disaster with my goats um, These last few weeks of rain have really taken their toll They've really put a dampener on a lot of my plants My pumpkins are str struggling The cold um, and the rain has just set them back pumpkins, the gourds, uh, the runner beans and the slugs have been rampant. Um, I'll show you what's going on with this particular gourd and what I'm going to try and do to try and fix it to see what happens there. So if you come a little bit closer, I'll show you what's going on here. So we started to develop these spots on the leaves um, and across the, across the stem as well. So that is typical of a fungal infection. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to try um, a solution of hydrogen peroxide. And hopefully the solution of hydrogen peroxide might get rid of this. And we'll see, we'll see how that goes. So what I'm going to do is I've got some, uh, I've got my spray bottle um, and I'm going to take, what I've got is some uh, pharmaceutical grade um, <coughs> hydrogen peroxide. Now this can be used as, it can be used orally, it can be used on the skin, so it's may, it is safe to use around edible stuff. Um, I read in the instructions that it can be used as a mouthwash, so I don't know how that works, but there you go. Um, anyway, hydrogen peroxide, what it is, it's um, h 2 O2. So hydrogen, as the name says, hydrogen peroxide. Instead of H2O, yeah, H2O has two hydrogen molecules to one um, oxygen molecule, and that's how you get water. With hydrogen peroxide, you have two hydrogen molecules to two oxygen molecules. So that extra ox oxygen molecule, that will help promote root growth. It'll help um, boost the plant's uptake of nutrients because of that extra oxygen molecule but the other thing about hydrogen peroxide is it's a mild it has it is a mild bleach it is corrosive so be careful when you put it on your skin um, it is an irritant so just do be careful if you do decide to use this now what we're going to do is we're going to take a capful of this and I'm going to add it to my spray bottle It's called hydrogen peroxide. What does it do? And what does it do? What it does is it will help. Do you know the plant that I showed you? Oh, uh, you've not. You've taken the bit out. I didn't know that was there. I just found it like that. So, so now I'm going to fill my bottle with water. So now what I've got here is a mild um, disinfectant. It is, a, it is suitable for organic gardening. I mean, um, tomatoes naturally produce it. That's one of the things that tomatoes naturally do do. Uh, it's naturally found in the environment. So now what I've got is a mild disinfectant. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go back to that gourd that you saw and I'm going to give it a good spray on the leaves, on the stalk, around the root area and hopefully um, we'll kill some of that fungal infection that's starting to develop and hopefully try and save that plant. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a light spray over all those leaves that with the spots on it. All that stalk. thing is I think there's a mixture of insect damage as well as this little fungal infection that seems to be developing. See, this can be used as an insecticide as well. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, it can be used in an insecticide because it will. Uh, what it will do is it will, because it is corrosive against things like aphids and green fly. This is quite effective. See, the plant is doing. It looks like it's doing okay, but the thing is, it's this. It's these rains that we've had that's really set us back. So I'm really worried about this year. What it will do is hopefully it'll help. Now the thing to do is to get every little bit of that plant, anything that looks like it needs, that's browning. I mean, one of the things that I will try is I will try Epsom salts in uh, as well in the next watering that I, that I do. So this, so what this will do, hopefully, because it'll work like an anti disinfectant and, and a fungicide, it'll hopefully um, get rid of that fungus that's starting to develop, that little infection. Um, and once, when I, what I'm going to do as well is, uh, as well as spraying the foliage like I am doing, I'm going to add it to, to the soil. So I'm just going to take the bottle lid off, and I'm just going to add some to the soil around the plant and what that's going to do is it will help promote root growth because within this is that extra oxygen molecule like I mentioned so what this will do if it if it does what it's supposed to do it will help clean this infection up that this plant's starting to get It'll help promote that root growth and it'll develop that resistance away from um, insects. Things like um, white fly and aphids and all the rest of it. So now that that plant's had a good drenching, garden, and I'm going to give every, all the other plants, all the other gourds, a good drenching as well. I'm going to give my beans a good drenching as well because they've had a bit of a shock from... Um, the slugs in the garden uh, over the course of while well, we've had all these rains. We're looking like the weather might change. I just wish it does. I'll leave it there for this one. It's a really quick one. I'll leave it there. Assalamu alaikum.